Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Dion. If you, if you have been here before, thank you for coming back and entertaining my crazy. I'm going to run through really quick what's on my face. I'm still using the Urban Decay Naked Original Palette. I'm trying to get different looks out of this palette. Um, I don't think it's working out too well. And I've, I've been reminded by looking at how these shades don't show up on me and a few that do. I don't look that good in cool tone colors. <laughs> I mentioned in another video, from here over, I don't get any color from these shades. This is great for all over because it's my skin tone. This is great to just uh, kind of give a little bit of color directly in the crease and slightly above the crease, but even this in my inner corner doesn't really even show up. So I'm only getting six shades in this palette that actually give me color and so all of my looks tend to end up looking the same but i have been playing around with adding these but then i end up layering them which still makes them look the same <laughs> but i'm not ready to give up on this palette yet i love the blendability of these shades and so let me just run through from the beginning and today i tried something very new i didn't put on foundation today i thought huh so let me start from the beginning the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I actually did my eyes first, and so this is just backwards, starting with the face products. And then I put on the number 13 Cream Caramel Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And I was liking how it looked under here. I mean, there's still some discoloration, but it wasn't really horrible. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me not do foundation today and see how I feel about it. And I set that with um, the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Powder. And then I set my face again with, yes, I know I use a lot of powders, the Fenty <laughs> Powder in Cashew. I like this best when I don't put it under my eyes. Even though it is translucent, it adds just a little bit of color. And so it did bring some of the discoloration back under my eyes. And so I forgot that today. Usually when I just set it with a true translucent shade and put this everywhere except under my eyes, I think it does really look nice. And so, I think I'm okay for not having on foundation. This coloration isn't that bad. And then what did I do? I went in with my three Fenty Sunstalkers by John Gal. I put um, on my cheeks. That's this one. And they all look really similar, and you can build up the color. But I, for me, they give me just enough to still use them all. And maybe I'm just... A sun stalker whore maybe and island <laughs> island ting i use it on the perimeter of my face and under my chin and caramel cutie i feel like i'm yelling <laughs> caramel cutie i just put that in the hollows of my cheeks and then i feather it upward as a blush i'm using the alamar cosmetics colorette blush trio medium tan and the color i used well, my cheeks today is Isla, which is this middle shade right here. And on my brows is the Tarte Brow Pencil in Rich Brown. My upper water, my upper lash line, the Lorac um, Front of the Pro Black Eyeliner. On my inner rim, upper and bottom, is the Bare Essentials Buxom Inside Eyeliner in Sapphire, which is the blue one. And then on to the eyes. Fenty eye primer and then into the palette. So what I did today, I used naked all over in my crease and above my crease up to the lash line. I used virgin as a brow highlight. I used um, buck too deep in the crease, but it really didn't. <laughs> and then I believe I took dark horse and I put it on the inner corner and the outer corner. So I was trying to do like a halo eye, my first time ever like intentionally doing it. So that's <laughs> on the outer corner and the inner corner and I dragged it just above the crease, making sure not to get it on the lid. And then I used half baked, let me switch fingers, half baked on the center of my lid. And so this is what it ended up looking like. And then I did have to go back and I used Buck to blend out dark horse up here in this area. And then I did add more of the dark horse in the outer corner, in the corner, and in here, and just kept blending and blending and blending and blending. 
and I also have dark horse underneath my lower lash line. And so I'm trying to get different looks out of here, but honestly, to me, this doesn't look any different from when I put Toasted in the center of my lid. Like, yes, they are very different shades, but on my skin tone, when I put them on my eyes, it's really not that much different. And so I'm... I'm I'm not gonna say I'm frustrated with this palette, but that's my issue with palettes that have a wide range of colors. Cause usually the first half, I don't get use out of, but I'm using them just to use them. But then I end up layering them. They're not really adding any color. And so, but I, I'm, I'm still trying, I'm, I'm still working with it. I'm not ready to give up on it yet. But also this is why as beautiful as the honey palette is, I'm looking at it and I'm like, number one, I don't look good in cool, cool tone colors on my eyes and number two I'm not going to get color out of half of the palette now however if they come out with a petite honey palette I will get the petite I have the petite um heat palette and I do get use out of the original naked um petite one that they had the naked basics the, the small one so because I already know those are the only colors that's going to give me color anyway and all the looks are going to come out the same as if I use this palette and all my looks come out the same. So just give me a smaller one for half the price. And I already know going in, I will use all of these five colors that are in those um, smaller palettes. Anyway, but it is beautiful. And I want to get it and I have rewards. And I'm, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going to get used out of half of it. And so I'm going to wait to see if they come out with a petite honey palette. On my lashes, I have on the Urban Decay Troublemaker. And then I sprayed my face. I'm trying, this is so old and I am so late. I sprayed my face with the Avion Natural Mineral Water, which does say you can use it to set your foundation or just if you don't even have one foundation just throughout the day to refresh your face. And so I sprayed with this and I didn't sweat a lot today. And I'm thinking maybe because I didn't put on foundation, but I don't know. So, and the weather's getting cooler outside too. And so I'm using this and I also have another brand, which I should have brought over here. Um, I can't even think of the name. I'm so not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> and Ulta just had it for their um, 21 days still deals or something. So I bought another one. And that one's cucumber, aloe, and something. And, and it looks green in the container, but of course when you spray it, it, it's clear. And so I am playing around with just regular sprays for when I'm not wearing um, anything on my face if I just want to refresh just to spray that I have not had a bad reaction to this but then it's only mineral water right so anyway what else and so that is it for what I did today thank you guys for watching and you will see me in the next video thanks bye